Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to be using uh, the Pygame sprite to show you how you can create a torrential rain animation with just one rain droplet. So we're going to be using uh, the Pygame module and so this is just going to be a rain animation with uh, Pygame. So the first thing we want to do is obviously import our modules and we're going to be using Pygame and random so we need to import those two modules. And now to initialize Pygame, we just write Pygame.init. Now let's create a clock. Clock is equal to Pygame.time.clock. And now what we could do, let's define our colors. Define some colors. Oops, define colors. And white is going to be equal to 255, 255, 255. And now that we've done that, we can just quit our game. So let's write pygame dot pygame dot quit and quit. And so if you decide to run this right now, um, what should happen, or actually nothing should happen. We haven't actually added any real code inside of our um, setup. So let's start adding in code to actually show something onto our screen. So let's first actually add in our images. And this is just going to be a rain droplet image. And every single image I use in this video is going to be in the description. And well, I only use one image, and that's just going to be a picture of a raindrop. So let's add our image. Rain image is equal to pygame, pygame.image.load. And this is going to be stored at the location. It's going to be in my images folder. And it's called rain.png. And so let's set up our window. Window width is going to be equal to 700 pixels. Window height, 500 pixels. And our window is going to be equal to pygame.display.setMode with our window width and our window height as dimensions. And now let's just write pygame.display.setCaption torrential rain. So if we save this, uh, and if you run this right now, what should happen is just um, a window should appear for a quick second, and then it will disappear pretty quickly. So let's actually keep the window on the screen with a while loop. So main game loop and while true for event in pygame.event.get if event.type is equal to pygame.quit then we want pygame to quit so we just write pygame.quit and quit and so what this while loop will do is that it just keeps the window up and if we want if the user wants to exit out of the window pygame will just let us exit out of the window so let me save this and Let's run what we have so far. Oops, let's see. Window. Yeah, this should be WN underscore width. Great. So now we have a window that is staying on the screen. And let's just fill up the background. So you notice that the background was black before. And let me just fill it up. So, in this while loop, we can use a good, we can use a um, function from Pygame, which is just window.fill with the color we want. And so, that's going to be white. And now, we want to just write pygame.display.flip and clock.tick30. And this will um, update 30 times, or 30 frames per second. So if we save this and run what we have. Now instead, we have the background that is white. Great. So let's, now that we have this down, let's go up here and let's create a class. And this would be a class rain. And we're going to be handling the sprites. And so we need a parameter called pygame.sprite.sprite. .sprite. So let's create a function, define init of self 
and pygame dot sprite dot sprite dot in it so oops uh let's see so And self.image is going to be equal to the rain image that we added before. Self.rect is going to be equal to self.image.getRect. Self.speedx is going to be 3. And this speed x is the value or the speed at which each raindrop is going to be moving from left to right. And speed dot or self.speed y. Is going to be a random number, so rand int random dot rand random dot rand int, and it's going to be a number between five and twenty-five. And so this is going to be the speed at which the raindrop falls down. And some raindrops are going to fall down slowly, and some are going to fall down quickly. And that's the point of this random dot rand int. And now what we could do self dot rect x to go to random dot randint negative 100 window width and what this does is that it spawns at a random location on the uh, x-axis and self dot rec dot y is the same thing but on the y-axis so random dot randint negative negative window oops negative window height 2 mega 5 so if we save this, now we can go down to our, or actually we could stay here and let's actually create an update function. So define update of self. And what this will allow us to do is now we can actually move each raindrop. So let's first update the position of the raindrop. So self.rect.x is equal to the previous self.rect.x plus self.speedx. And we'll do this with uh, self.rec.y is equal to previous self.rec.y plus self.speedy. And let's also create a if statement. And what this if statement will do is that if the raindrop drops below a certain point, we just want it to respawn at the top again. Uh, so that's just going to check for the y value, so if self dot rec dot bottom is greater than window height, then self dot speed x is going to be equal to three. Self dot speed y, and again we're, we are uh, reinitializing these values, and it's going to be random dot randint five twenty five self dot rec dot x random dot rand int negative oops, negative window width two window width and self dot rec dot y is going to be random dot rand int negative window height negative five and so we basically just checked if the range up has fell below a certain point and we will we will respawn it back to the top. And now let's create a sprite group in our main. So uh, below where we uh, set up our window, right here, and above our game loop, let's create a create sprite group. And so we're going to have a rain group, and this rain group is going to be full of the rain sprites. And so it's equal to pygame.sprite.group. And we want to create a for loop. And this for loop will just uh, create each rain sprite individually. So for i in range 100, rain is equal to, uh, we're just going to create a new rain, rain object. And now rain group dot add rain. And so we're iterating through this 100 times because we want to add 100 raindrops. And the reason why we have a sprite group instead of just um, having each sprite individually is because once you edit a sprite group, 
everything in the sprite group will change. And this is much more efficient than editing each sprite individually. So let's go into our while loop right here and let's call the sprite groups update function. So update and rain group dot update. And this is much more efficient than calling each individual sprite's update function itself. And let's also add in rain group dot draw window. So if we save this and run our code, now we have a really nice looking um, raining animation. And you notice when they go down here, they should respawn up here. And all of the raindrops have a different speed when they're going downwards. And it looks really, really nice. So that's basically the end of this video. I'll see you guys in the next video.